Hello people, welcome back to my channel. Today we're here to continue with our read aloud, read along of Maya Angelou's second memoir, Gather Together in My Name. We've been reading together and previous chapters will be linked in the playlist down below. So if you're new to the series and you want to start with chapter one, you can go ahead and check out earlier videos. We also read together the entire first book, so you can check out those series of videos as well. We are now up to chapter 22, which in this edition of the book starts on page 126. If you have a copy of the book, go ahead, read along with me. Otherwise, you can just listen to me read. And in the previous chapter, we had Maya Angelou just beginning a dancing phase of her life. So we're about to read about her dancing in chapter 22. I committed myself to a show business career, and dancing and studying dance swallowed me. Charlie Parker's cool breeze was my practice piece. Flash slide through the opening riff, then stash during Bird's solo, keeping soft shoe time by dusting the boards of the soles of my feet, then break during Bud Powell's piano wizardry. Break, cross step, Chicago, fall, fall, break, crossover, apple, break, time step, slap, crossover, then break and fall off the log, going out on the closing riff. I practiced until my ankles ached, without complaint, and was more than rewarded when R.L. told me one day, after we break in our act out here, I think we'll go east, big time, join Duke's or Basie's Roadshow. My concern was not how I'd manage with my son on the big time circuit, but how I could perfect my flash so that R.L. wouldn't go looking for a prettier partner. I used my time in the chicken shack to strengthen my ankles. When I was behind the counter, I stood on tiptoe, letting one heel down, then raising it and pressing the other to the floor. When R.L. decided we were ready to try out our act, I sprang my homemade costume on him. I had gone to a theatrical store and bought a wig, coke feathers, a padded bra, and a g-string. I sewed the shiny black feathers on the scanty outfit, then added a few sequins and a little sparkle for show. My costume could be held in one bald fist, and the g-string barely covered my pubic hair and the cleavage of my buttocks. Ah, uh, no. He lowered his head and searched painfully for the words he wanted. Uh, Rita, no. That won't, uh, get it. That's, uh, uh, a shake dancer's rig. Uh, I mean, I'll show you. Something like a bathing suit with spangles. I stood before him, my oiled skin gleaming, the fluffy wig trembling with ringlets on my head, withering with disappointment. My costume was a faithful copy of Latania, the popular interpretive dancer who was a current favorite at the Champagne Supper Club. You look... I mean, tap shoes are gonna look, I uh, mean, they don't go together. I remembered. Latanya danced barefoot, with a string of little bells around her ankles and rings on her toes. I reluctantly agreed that my creation didn't fit a rhythm tap routine, but put it away for future use. R.L. rented a red, white, and blue costume for me that was cut like a one-piece bathing suit. I added a top hat and cane, and we were ready for our first gig in a small nightclub down the peninsula. Ah, the smell of grease paint. Our routine was honed to a fine point, our flashes and stashes and hand movements coordinated in machine-like precision. My costume fit passably well, my hair was done beautifully, and I had on enough makeup to stave off a winter cold. The orchestra struck up our music, and I led Poole and Rita out on the dance floor. Dum-dum, tee-dum-dum-dum. And now, breaking in their new act from way out Chicago, Poole and Rita! I was miraculously in the center of an empty floor with lights blazing down, and I felt nearly naked. Just out of the glare, I saw what appeared like a thousand knees and legs around small tables. I couldn't make out faces in the gloom, but I was sure they were there and probably all staring at me. R.L. glided onto the floor, tap, tap, tapping away, flashed by me, and I wanted to grab his hand. He pulled away to anywhere, but I was frozen in the spotlight. Boom, 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 ra, boom, ra. Boom, ra, bra, bra. I realized that I was frightened and I nearly panicked. My God, what was going to happen? I'd never be able to leave this place. A stake had been driven down through my head and body, rooting me forever to this spot. R.L. flashed by again. Boom, ra, boom, ra. If he would only stop that silly tap dancing and take my hand, we could leave. He marched up and spoke to me under the music. Come on, Rita, break, break. Break what? I looked at him as if I had never seen him before. He put his arm around my shoulder like Astaire did Rogers in one of their military parodies. 
He looked at me and gave me a push that almost sent me into one of the tables and hissed. Break, goddammit, break! I broke. I started dancing all over the place, tapping, flashing, stashing up and down the floor. I threw in a little hucklebuck, Suzy Q, and trucking. Our routine had completely disappeared, but I was the world's dancing fool. Boogie Woogie, the Charleston, when the band was moving into the last chorus, I was just getting warmed up. R.L. pursued me across the floor. He finally put his arm around my shoulder again and by brute force led me off the floor, flashing to the end. The audience scrapped and I pulled away and raced back, booming and boom rying. R.L. joined me and again pulled me back to the wings. I loved it. I was a hungry person invited to a welcome table for the first time in her life. The costume rental and transportation had diminished our take to $15 a piece. I was exhausted and had the long bus ride ahead back to the city, but all was better than well. It was super colossal. I had broken in. I was in show business. The only way was up. That's chapter 22. We'll be back next time for chapter 23. I hope you'll join me. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Let's chat in the comments. And until next time, happy reading. Bye.